Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about technical decisions. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, speaking of technical decisions, how do you handle a situation when a bad technical decision has already been made? For example, you work in a project as a software engineer with little impact on the big technical decisions. A technology or tool is used which is very bad and has a very bad support and is also containing a lot, a lot of bugs. You are, but you are assigned to work with this tool. How do you deal with working in such an environment? Should you try to change the situation or should you, try and you just accept it and try to fix things and face the inevitable, inevitable frustration along the way? So I'm going to tell you that the best thing for you your first move should be to figure out basically where everybody stands on the thing that you identify as a problem because that's the thing that you need to first and foremost accept you are identifying this as a problem and there's a world of a difference between that you think that something is a problem and that every, everybody thinks that something is a problem and this is the bitter truth of being a genius or a guru or someone who is a little bit ahead of the curve if that is the case I mean sometimes you're just wrong and you see a problem where there is no problem or you see a problem that nobody cares about that's also really bad but at the end like if you're not aligned in ter terms of values in the group that you find yourself you are going to find some stuff and I've been here more than once and I've seen other people be here more than once so first things first figure out the lay of the land is there a desire to fix this problem that you have found yes or no if there's no desire and nobody sees it as a problem then you should shut your mouth and just live with it People do this literally every single day. Some people, uh, like, they do care and they see that this is a problem, but they don't care enough about the success of the company or things like that to give a shit or to say anything about it. Because, and that th this is like this is the poison that kills a lot of businesses, where you get into a space where your employees have all these problems and they know of ways of improving, but because of reasons, nobody acts on anything they just kind of let it go and they continue similar to how uh, there's an error on your computer and you just click OK you don't act on it because the computer is still sort of working and you just click it away and before you know it you have Yahoo search installed in your browser along with a million other ads and similar sorts of things that's slowing down your computer to a crawl it's the same sort of thing but even if you identify this you have to understand that just because you think it's a problem that doesn't mean that everybody else thinks that that's a problem and if you start making a huff you're, if you start huffing and puffing about this you are going to be risking something and the, th the, ris the risk that you're going to run is to be labeled a troublemaker this person who always complains always upset about how shitty everything is blah 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 even if you're completely right you might be a hundred percent correct then if you were to go and tell Google about your gigantic awesome way of improving your company they might make you the new CEO it doesn't matter because the people that you are working with are not smart enough to figure out that you are right and that sucks it sucks so much good god it sucks so much it's the worst thing <laughs> it's so horrible you can sit there and you can know that there are so many ways of fixing this and you know how to do all of these awesome things and you have all this education, all this experience and all this knowledge that you have acquired over the years and the person you're talking to is and who's paying your salary is an idiot go figure right what are you gonna do doesn't matter what you say doesn't matter how how horrible the situation might be because this idiot or person whatever you want to call them does not possess the, men the, the cognitive tools to understand that this is a problem so they might be and I've seen this happen as well they will run the company into the ground I've been part of companies like that where the, we, we like you literally warn them for years they don't do a fucking thing about it. Uh, they they just continue until 
the company goes over due to the reasons that you have warned them about. And unfortunately, well, you, you have this problem where they're not paying you to be smarter than them. Or rather, you, they are paying you to be smart. They're just not paying you to tell them what to do. They're paying you to do the thing that they want you to do. And if the thing they want you to do is to shut up and just do the thing you're being told to do, then that's what you're going to have to do if you're going to get your paycheck. If you're lucky, they're going to listen to you. But as I said, that depends. Do they think that the thing that you think is a problem? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. So if there's no desire to upgrade, uh, or so if there's no desire to upgrade, just keep your mouth shut. Like you can make just a suggestion, just suggest it, and then you're gonna see if they shut it down. If they shut it down, just go move on with your life or find another job. It's the safe bet for you, unless you want to take that risk to lobby for people who don't care about doing things in a better way. But let's say that there is a desire to upgrade. Then the other thing you can do is uh, to, and th this is usually what, what happens, usually people are go, will go, yeah, cool, you have this idea, show us, and then you can make a small proof of concept. And here's the key thing now, when you make that sm small proof of concept, do that, and then get some feedback on it. Because, once again, you do not want an up in here too. You do not want to put yourself in a situation where your manager says, hey, you know what, this would be really cool if you, uh, you have this awesome idea. And they say, yeah, cool, go for it. And then you go out and you build something amazing or you, like, you put a lot of effort into it and you really put your heart and soul into it. And then your manager goes, but wait, I didn't agree to all of this. You, and what, you spent how long on this? And I go, oh, no, no, I'm sure. I'm not sure if we can do this. We're probably going to have to let you go. Your manager, if you don't involve, if you do not create a situation where your manager or your other people or whoever, like if you are perceived as being the person who took this risk, went out on a limb, you are putting yourself in a situation where your manager can stab you in the fucking back and just backtrack on you in front of their manager because they can say to you if depending on the structure they can tell you that oh yeah sure go and build this awesome thing and then their manager comes and goes hey did you tell that guy to build that thing what did were you thinking and then your manager is going to be a coward about it and say oh no no i just wanted them to like do a little tiny thing this was way too much maybe we need to like investigate what happened here and like they're going to backtrack and cover their ass and put you on on the spot so be careful about that stuff. Uh, so just make a small proof of concept and once again evaluate. Do you, what's the feedback? Do people think that this is a, like an investment and a good investment? And then you get the buy-in. Get the buy-in. In other words, you officially get everybody who is in a position to fuck you over to tell you that yeah, we like this idea. We want to commit to this. And then you commit resources just as any other story. And that is a process that will work really, really well. Uh, that's at least what I recommend to you. That way you cover your own ass and you still move the company in the right direction. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you have a situation where a lot of bad technical decisions have already been made, uh, you can only really check the lay of the land. Try to suggest improvements a few times. Don't try to push it too much. And just hear, like, let, listen to the feedback. If there is no interest in your ideas shut the fuck up and just accept the paycheck if there is a interest or you can get some traction make a small proof of concept and don't commit too much to it just build something small that kind of indicates the thing and see if you can get people to buy into that and then get a buy-in before you make any type of major things if you want to cover your ass if you trust your boss and you trust all the people around you yeah, just go for it because they've already given you the green light but be careful because I've been I've seen this happen to other people and I have been been treated this way as well where a manager tells you in meeting one that yeah this sounds like an awesome idea and in meeting three their manager is there and doesn't like the idea and now they stab you in the back so be careful about that stuff and then always remember this one thing just as a doctor can't force a patient to eat healthily a software developer can't force a stupid person to be smart 
just keep that with you at all times. People are nice, but some people are stupid, and some uh, sometimes you just have to accept that you are on different wavelengths, and the thing that you see, they don't see. And to make yourself humble, remember that sometimes it's them who's actually in the right, and you are the one who's not that bright. Have a great day.